Yo guys, what's going on? It is Sunnyvale here, and today I'm coming at you with an obby tank guide. So, um, first of all, if you're coming from my um, my granite mall tank guide, this is fairly the same concept, um, except for I have not played the game in like four months, but I'm trying to get back into it because during the summer, when I don't have anything to do, I can just hop on, make a guide, or do 10 hours from something, because I'm only going to be playing like one to two hours, maybe a day, if that. Um, maybe some days where I'm sort of like I don't play at all, but other than that, let's get right into it. So today I'm doing an obby tank guide. I'll be covering two um, two specific tank methods. Um, that would be the uh, 60 defense method, which has actually become the more popular one. I like this, but I still like the, um, the 40 uh, 40 defense tank. But to be honest, from the videos I've seen, the 60 defense tank is better, especially at higher levels. But the um, the 40 defense tank is the only tank that I've personally had. I'm just putting that out, out there as a disclaimer. So if I do sound biased at some points, but yeah, let's get right into it. Um, the quests you must have because you are going to want to have 40. Um, you're going to want to have adamant gloves. Um, this is on both uh, both accounts. So these are all the quests that you want. Um, so of course you're going to want the recipe for disaster. You're going to want the goblins, wart face, and uh, wart face and bent nose. You want pirate Pete completed, the Lumbridge guide completed, evil Dave completed, and scratch bone crusher a glogwi. I don't know how to pronounce that. I know some of you just cringe there, but yep, you can just take a screenshot of this. And um, these are every single quest that you need for adamant gloves on the screen right now. So, why do you need these quests? So. Um, these quests give you the best possible armor. Oh, sorry, I forgot to also include that. I concluded the Arti uh, the Cloak 1 quest in there. So, the Arti Cloak 1 is the best cape you can use that is not an obby cape. Of course, you can use an obby cape or an obby cape T or even a fire cape. But, I'm assuming that most of you aren't going to want to risk that since um, if, you're, if you're sculling, you don't want to risk an extra 300k. If you're not sculling, then you don't want to risk an extra 100k from the torso or, or 50k or whatever from the torso. So, um, and in my opinion, the Arctic Cloak 1 is basically the uh, the better cape overall, unless you have a fire cape. So then we have the added gloves, like I just mentioned, and yes, those are the only two reasons. But um, as it says, you can use also, also use the Arctic Cloak 2 down there, um, but I'm pretty sure you can't unless you get like 10 attack or 5 attack and I really don't recommend that um, so just stick to the Arctic Cloak 1 Obsidian Cape which I don't really recommend that and the Fire Cape of course if you get 43 prayer since I think they changed it it's impossible to get it with less than 43 prayer but um, let's move on to the next method another method the next reason so the positives are the Arctic Cloak 1 of course this is going to be a little biased because I personally only use the Arctic Cloak 1 because in my opinion it is really better um, overall, so the positives are cost nothing. You basically will go back and pick it up if you want to. If not, you can have like 400 of them in the bank, and they're all free. Um, secondly, is the crush bonus. Um, you get zero attack or anything bonuses basically, except for defense with the uh, obsidian cape. Except for I'm pretty sure if you're wearing the full set with the um, new obsidian armor you get a special damage increase don't hold me to that um this just came out that literally came out um, maybe five hours ago from the time that uh, i'm recording this now i think this is going to be uploaded in a couple weeks though or maybe a week but um yeah uh the prayer bonus so um the prayer bonus it gives is going to help you because you're only going to be having 16 prayer on uh, either build unless you choose to get higher 31 prayer is also a viable option, but if people decide to smite you, then uh, it's just not going to be a good time since you do have a low prayer level. And also, it is the best possible type of cape, in my personal opinion, for both uh, for both tanks, as it still does give some defense bonus. I know it only gives stab and uh, magic defense, which isn't really that good, but at least it gives something, and um, it costs nothing. So the negatives, it is very little defense. But if you are not lazy like me, then you can get an Arctic Cloak too. But of course, um, full disclaimer, I'm pretty sure it gives the attack. I have not played this game in like four months, so if you want to, if you're not lazy, you just go check it yourself. Uh, but I will not be covering this as it adds five hours or so to the grind, and um, this account does take a pretty long time to make. 
next the fighter torso so this is only needed um, if you want I personally recommend it um, f I personally recommend it I obviously recommend it for a 4d um, for a 40 defense tank and I even recommend it for a 60 defense tank because the training you'll need from like 40 to 60 defense will take a while um, not a while but it takes a fair bit of time so 40, 40 torso just helps that along but it does cost around 15 mil that's what it cost about four months ago I don't know the prices now if you go into uh, leech BA or BA services then they'll sort you out because um, they have fluctuating prices like every week so the positive to this is everything uh, is basically positive about it except for the cost. Um, so the negative is of course the cost, but everything's positive. You get a plus four strength bonus and some attack bonuses, but it's just it's overall just amazing. Every obby tank should have this on their account just in case somebody doesn't want to fight you in full obsidian, um, full obsidian armor if you're 60 defense and uh, whatsoever. So next, the two build types. I've gone over it, but I haven't really gone over it very well. So, so, in my opinion, one attack is the only viable option for an obby tank. Um, I don't care if it's an obsidian ta uh, full obsidian armor tank, like 60 defense, it doesn't matter. One attack is always the best. Yes, you maybe won't hit as accurately as, let's say, 10 attack or even 5 attack, but it, it doesn't matter because, in my opinion, the 5 attack and the 2 levels you'll get or one point like seven levels you'll get off that five levels is just is not worth it for like the one level that you'll be fighting downwards in uh ba so or bh sorry so um in my opinion what the one attack is just always the way to go because you 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 probably won't be fighting other defense tanks and even if you do the crush bonuses that you'll receive and the strength bonuses that you receive are just all around better so that's why i choose one attack 60 plus defense, uh, sorry, 60 plus strength, just, it's needed, you need 60 strength to wield the obby maul. 40 defense, so now I'm going to be over going over the 40 defense. So, 40 defense allows you to wear rune, and it also allows you to wear the, um, the fighter's torso. This is the only account I've PK'd on. Personally, the only way you die is if somebody gets an anti-fire, um, spec on you. Like, uh, sorry, a Dragonfire spec on you with a Rune Crossbow. That's why you just drink an Anti-Fire. And the, the odd time, they'll get a lucky Gmall uh, combo. I have personally never died in a G from a Gmall uh, spec in my life on um, on this game, on my 40 defense tank. But uh, it could happen. I've seen my friend get uh, like 15, 15, 15 from it. And it, he lost like 30 mil like that in a risk fight. So... Um, it all depends. Personally, I've never lost a risk fight through going um, Gmail, Gmail, Gmail. I've only got deboed out a couple times, and the odd like Onyx Bolt spec. But uh, other than that, your this the, the build is perfect. 16 prayer. I'm pretty sure you end up with uh, 15 prayer from all the questing. So just get 16 for the ac for extra accuracy. Um, that just basically neglects the five uh, attack and it gives you like five percent uh, added accuracy so it's pretty much needed and for like the point one or point zero five uh, level levels will get you it's it's worth it and then for this like, this account build um you range goes off the strength so if you have like 60 strength you can only get 40 range but without becoming range based or without fucking up your account so that's in my opinion the only only downside to this account so next this is the 60 defense tank so this tank looks fucking beastly from what i've seen on uh videos uh sir Pagra has a great video uh showcasing what this account can do um so one attack 60 d uh, 60 defense and 60 strength 60 defense allows you to wield the new obsidian armor it's only been over five hours so i don't know the full effects of it but uh it looks pretty fucking sick and in my opinion it's the same 16 prayer um that'd be the best because you still get addy gloves and you're getting the whole um the whole prayer setup with the uh, reflexes and the strength prayer but i i'm saying you should also maybe get 31 for this build it looks like thir like you can keep the extra item which saves you money because you will be wearing the full obsidian armor set and uh 25 prayer would really help in that um you're saving yourself an extra 400k if you die but it's looking like you're not dying in this uh 
in this account because it's it's pretty overpowered right now but um, also it's overpowered because it gives zero uh, range um, accuracy like it doesn't uh, it's not there's no negative negative bonuses from it so you can be wearing a uh, magic short bow and be like it's like you're not wearing any armor at all so it's like the complete opposite of rune so that's why you're gonna be getting 50 plus range because then you can use the magic short bow and then bop 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 magic short bow into um into obsidian mall and they're dead so that is i recommend getting the 60 defense because for right now it looks overpowered as fuck so i will not be also covering the 5 10 13 attack builds as they're dead into this obsidian tanks um maybe i could be proven wrong with the 60 uh 60 defense build but as of right now just get the stick to stick with one attack because um there's new metas every day and if you want you can do the quest you can do like friendly trials or you could do um even uh rune gloves and just get the 13 attack so yeah, basically it's a waste of one to five combat levels for accuracy that you only be fighting pure so it's like they have one defense anyway so how much uh, accuracy do you really need so what to wear during fight so i did not put down the obsidian armor for 60 defense because it's 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 mandatory you you have to wear the uh, obsidian armor in a 60 defense tank um so what you have to wear during a fight um i'll cover the 60 defense one in a, another page but for the 40 defense ups uh 40 defense tank you're gonna be wanting to wear a rune full helmet you can also wear a gold trimmed or god full ham god full helmet so people will fight you you tend to not get a lot of fights when you're unscalled in um in uh 40 defense tank so uh this helps a farted torso you can also wear room plate body you look like a fucking loser so spend the extra 15 mil to get the farted torso as it increases your max hit by two anyway and just all around just you need you it's mandatory and above glory into berserker necklace strength dime if you're not ranging pretty man pretty um pretty easy uh, i did not put in the uh slayer staff because all around rune knives are better than the slayer staff in on 40 defense uh, tank i have uh 55 slayer so i can use it but i just never do because it's really not that good in comparison to rune knives uh rune plate legs or rune plate legs g if you want um because again you want fights rune boots adamant gloves ring of recoil or berserker ring slash berserker ring, ring i if you're not sculling but it's kind of hard to get um nightmare zone points on this uh, type of pure uh, I only did I have berserker ring eye but it took me like I don't know a long time to get it to get the points for it so if you're willing to do that like I was then go for it because it does it's like a berserker ring eye is like double what a torso does for you so it's a lot it's, it's really good so then the Tsarket arm um, is your kind of like your spec weapon uh, spec weapon spec weapon sorry about that and then the event RPG bone dagger um, are your two melee weapons and of course rune knives if you're ranging into g mall or magic sherpo if you're high enough strength and you don't want to make your uh, account range based but i advise always bringing a bone dagger and an event rpg with you because some people are like oh don't don't use rune knives your defensive whatever whatever so they just bitch about it the entire fight so you're not going to die anyway so just use uh, an event rpg if they don't want you to use rune knives or darts or magic sherpo so just bring it just in case but I also advise uh, dehyde traps if you're ranging and swap those out for rune plate legs. So usually you'd be using blue or green dehyde traps. So just buy the G version so it looks cooler and um, people want to fight you more. Because if you're using the regular one, you just look like a fucking loser and uh, people probably won't want to fight you. On to the setup for this. So this is what your bank should look like basically if you are... Um, a uh, 40 defense tank this is what i always use i just cleaned it to make it look nice and then i have to buy it all buy it all back afterwards so it looked pretty nice like this as you can see what i mentioned earlier is the 15 rd cloaks the two event rpgs these are just stackable items so it's pretty good if you want to take a screenshot of that and uh yep so this is the setup for um the 60 defense uh tank method so first obby shield oh you have a good shield that you can wear and then the obsidian armor uh, i've already gone over it it's just overpowered you can also use rune knives and i advise bringing magic sharpo for the special attack because it's just this all around this is just overpowered 60 defense uh tank take a screenshot if you want but you can really just find this in the old crew uh, tab so what prayers to have on 
I'm not covering the 31 prayer because I don't know how good it is right now. So I'm just covering the 16 um, prayer uh, method. So this is what my Obby Tanks prayers look like. So when I'm risk fighting, I use the prayers on the left. And when I'm BHBKing, I use the prayers on the right. So this is because the 5% that you get from the accuracy prayer that is not turned on on the right drains your prayer like a fucking motherfucker. And so this is why I only use um, risk fighting on the left for the extra for the extra like bonuses and I really want the kill. And then when I'm BHPKing, it's okay if I don't get the kill. So I just turn off the 5% damage boost or damn accuracy boost, sorry. Notable, uh, notable notes and notable notes, huh? And uh, tips: always look up a, ca a combat ca combat calculator. See how far your range level is from leveling up. You never want to get a range. You never let a uh, range level level you up because this just makes your uh, account range based, and you do not want that. 50 Slayer helps a lot with PKing. Um, it's actually 55. My bad. 55 Slayer helps a lot with PKing as it allows you to use the Slayer staff as a crush weapon. It's the best DPS on an obby tank, aside from ranging. Um, so, if you want that, it helps, but I personally just stick to your knives. But again, it, it does, it's it's still pretty good. Like, you're going to want it on your account anyway. Um, and I believe that you can get the already cloak too, it, but it's just honestly fuck that. But I'm like 95% sure because um, now I am like. I'm basically 100% sure that it gives you attack XP, so never mind, just scratch that out. Always PK in maximum gear because you can take all the defense and strength bonus you can get because you're going to want that. So always try to PK on Scald if you're the 16 prayer. It doesn't matter if somebody doesn't fight you, tell them to skip you. If not, just attack them and then fucking teleport out to be a little bitch. But uh, always PK in maximum gear because that is just the most efficient that will get you the most kills. But um, these uh, accounts are basically made for high risking. So if you're a high risker, you want some fun, these accounts are great. And that's coming from somebody who has one. Get 50 construction for a nice house. And a pool in your house would be nice, but 50 construction is all that needed. If you want a fully stocked house, by all means, get 83 um, construction. But if you don't have 50 mil to spend on an account that you only, you'll only PK on, then 50, uh, 50, constructed, 50 construction is needed. This gets some house tabs. It saves you so much time, so much money. And it only costs like maybe I'd say four mil altogether to get a 50 construction house fully, uh, fully ready to go. Um, lastly, take an anti fire antidote, two prayer potions, and a super combat in every fight. Um, I would say make all of them one dose to save money, except for the prayer potions but um it's up to you especially super combat i take maybe a two dose but one dose is really all you need um but yeah that is it guys so uh that is the end of my uh guide if you have any questions whatsoever and i forgot to cover something please 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 uh comment about it if you've seen my uh granite mall pier guide you know that i try to respond to basically every single comment and question and um, I'm getting back into the game now. So I'm gonna be doing kind of like loot from 10 hour videos. My first one's gonna be on Giant Mole. I have the fairly, fairly hard ones. So if you guys wanna see that, uh, probably click on my channel and you will uh, it'll be right there. So thank you for watching. If there are any other account guides that you want me to make or help you on, please don't uh, hesitate to post it down in the comments. And uh, thanks, have a good day and uh, bye.